In this lecture, we are going to define what is meant by a vector space. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a set V, which is a non-empty set, and I'm going to use two operations for that set. So V is a non-empty set, first of all. I'm going to take two operations. The first operation is called as addition. And the second operation that I'm going to use is I'm going to denote it by dot and I'm going to call it as scalar multiplication. Remember, it's not a usual multiplication. I'm going to call it as scalar multiplication. And I'm going to need a field here. So I'm going to denote it by F, where F is a field. And for uh, this course, for the second year BSc linear algebra course, we usually take the field to be the field of real numbers. The definition of field will be covered in a in some other video, which will be on fields. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some actions and if those actions are satisfied, then this set V will be called as a vector space. So this is a vector space V as, as I shown in the picture. And this is the field I'm, I'm going to draw here the field. And that field is the field of real numbers I'm to, going to use here. So the first action that a vector space should satisfy is the closure. That is, if you take an event U and V in the vector space, I'm going to denote them by U bar and V bar. Then their addition U bar plus V bar also should be inside the set V. So if U bar and V bar belong to the space V, then U bar plus V bar should not go outside. It should also be, it should not be outside the set. That is not allowed. It should be inside the set V itself. So this is the closure. Similarly, if I take the vector U bar and V, suppose U bar is here, and if I take any scalar over here, if I take any scalar k in the real numbers, so k is in the set of real numbers. In general, it is in the field. Then what should happen? When I take k and u bar, when I multiply them, so I'm multiplying the scalar by this element, which is actually called as scalar multiplication. Then this scalar multiplication, that answer should also lie, that point should also lie inside the set p so k into u should also be an element of the set v it should not go outside k into u should not go outside the set it should be inside the set v itself this is called as closure with respect to scalar multiplication the third thing that we need in a vector space is that if I take three points, u bar, v bar, and w bar in the vector space V, so u, v, and w are in the vector space V, then the property associativity should be satisfied. That is u bar plus v bar plus w bar should be equal to u bar plus v bar plus w bar. All of us know that this is called as associativity with respect to the addition operation. The fourth property that must be true is that in a vector space, you must be able to find a special element which is called as zero bar. So the, this person must be there in the vector space. So there exists an element zero bar in the vector space. You must always have this person in the vector space such that u bar plus that zero bar will again give you u bar for any u bar. You take any u bar in the vector space, you must be able to find a zero bar in that V such that u bar plus zero bar is equal to u bar. Also, if you take any u bar in the space set V, then you must be able to find the additive inverse of that vector which is minus u bar 
such that u bar plus minus of u bar should give you how much should give you the additive identity which is zero bar so if you give me any u bar in the vector space then i must be able to find a minus of that person which is also in the same vector space it should not go outside the vector space that should also be in v so that when i add them the resultant i will get what the resultant i will get zero bar so this must always happen the next property is that the commutativity should also be there if u bar and v bar are belonging to the vector space 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 v then u bar plus v bar must also equal to v bar plus u bar this is commutativity all of us know this if you see the the video on fields you will understand the names of these properties this property is additive inverse this property is additive identity now let us go to the next property if i take u bar and v bar in the vector space v and if k is any element which is a scalar means k belongs to real numbers as i shown you in the figure above then k into u bar plus v bar must be equal to k into u bar plus k into v bar okay this means that this multiplication scalar multiplication should distribute over the vector addition okay so this property is referred to as what this property is referred to as distributivity who is distributing over whom the scalar multiplication is distributing over the vector addition okay the next property is that if i take k and l which are scalars now i'm taking k and l are scalars which are real numbers and u bar is a vector in the vector space then k plus l into u bar must be equal to k into u bar plus l into u bar this property should also hold means means this u bar you can multiply it to both the scalars also this that if k l k into l where k and l are scalars into u bar this must be the same as k into l u bar where what are k and l k and l are scalars means they are real numbers and u bar is a element of the set v this property should also hold one of the most important property we are going to mention now you must have a person which is called as one such that one times any u bar that person should also be equal to u bar itself it cannot be anything different but I, i want that this one should satisfy the property that one into u bar must give me how much must give me u bar again so that is the 10th property so one in the set of real numbers and u bar is a person in the vector space then one into u bar must be equal to how much must be equal to u bar if all these 10 properties are satisfied then i will say that v becomes a vector space with respect to the given addition and scalar multiplication how will i recollect all the 10 properties quickly first property is closure with respect to addition second property is closure with respect to multiplication third property is associativity with respect to addition fourth property is identity with respect to addition fifth property is inverse with respect to addition sixth property is commutativity with respect to addition seventh property is distributivity eighth property and ninth property are somewhat like distributivity this is this ninth property is somewhat like associativity it is not associativity it looks like associativity because scalars and vectors are mixed over there and last property is identity with respect to the scalar multiplication which is one so if all these properties hold then we will say that v is a vector space in the next upcoming videos we will understand the examples of vector spaces